Those with very young children are a rare sight on the streets of Ballon Road these days. It's become a place for the young of school-going age to be educated for immigration, a place for the old to remember better times. As well as primary schools, at second level the town has a convent, a vocational school and a boys' CBS, catering for about 600 students between them. This is our Leaving Cert class in Ballon Robe. They'll be doing their Leaving Cert now in summer and they're about 42 or 43 doing the exam. How many boys could see their future in this country? Hold up your hands. How many boys can see their future outside this country? <clears throat> Only 10 out of the 43 saw their future in Ireland. The rest, two-thirds of the class, see no future for themselves in this country, even though most would stay if they had a choice. What is your reaction, brother, to the poll that we've just done here? Well, I'm not surprised. I have them for career guidance, and I've, I have a feel of what they're what they're going to do or what they have to do. So uh, it seems that about three quarters of them would see their future outside the country. Would that be your own experience? I think so. I uh, think so, unless things improve. But at present, I'm afraid most of them have to leave the country, unfortunately. Good afternoon, girls. Leaving Sir Class of 89, questions now today of a different type. Kathleen Ryder, vice principal of the convent, put the same two questions to the girls of their Leaving Cert class. Tell me, how many of you see a future for you in Ireland? A mere eight of the class of 55 see their future in Ireland. And how many of you see your future outside of Ireland? The vast majority, 47 of the class, see their future outside Ireland. Two-thirds going to England, one-third to America. All except one would stay if they thought the opportunities were here. Beside the convent, a new community school is going up for all the town's third-level students. But will it be needed by the next generation? The young people of this generation would prefer to stay in Ballinrobe, or at least in Ireland, but what few jobs there are are badly paid. It's Hobson's choice, and the lure of immigration is strong. They hear stories of lads coming back in the holidays. They dress well, they're looking well, they're talking of earning three, four hundred pounds a week. Living well, or appear to be living well anyway. Appearances alone would bring over most people to England. They wouldn't wait here paying, earning six to seven pounds a week, because they just wouldn't pay them. If I was getting two hundred pounds a week paying job here, I would stay here because the quality of life, this, the life, I enjoy life here. I prefer stay here than go abroad, but not everybody is going to have that chance and they, they probably will have to go abroad, a lot of people. I could work in, in Ballon Road, so I could. I have a job, but all my friends have begun. So there'll be no one around town next year that I would know and I'd be just here by myself. So I couldn't imagine that I'd stay in Ballon Road for that reason alone. Immigration here in Ballon Road is almost a fact of life now. Um, I think the fact that immigration does give you experience, it could be to your advantage as well. You go to England, you go to a job centre, you can choose between six to maybe eight jobs. Here you scrape for one and you will hold on to it if you get it. Like It's, it's just a fact of life anymore really, the job situation here. It's what could I do about it? Well, at the moment, I don't see them doing much, really. They're, as it is, they're saying the employment figures are dropping. That's because people are immigrating. They don't say that, though. We'll have oh, 110, 120 uh, Leaving Cert students this year. 30, 40 of those probably will go on to third-level education. I can't see jobs for any of the rest of them. And being a travel agent, I mean, I'm, I'm first to meet them here, and they're coming in, they're immigrate one-way tickets to England and America. 